Okay, it's a 1955 Lancia Aurelia Spider, uh, and uh, it's one of about 200 made, and it has um, just recently emerged from a six-year restoration. Oh, okay. Mm. And how long have you had it? Uh, about eight years. About eight years. Yeah. What engines so, it running? So it's got a 2.5 litre V6. So that's the first production V6 engine, and a four-speed transaxle. And uh, it's you know for its time a very uh, technologically sophisticated car. What's it worth? I'm embarrassed to say actually. Go on, don't, don't be embarrassed. No, I am embarrassed to say. Um, people say 300,000, yeah. Mm. Very nice, yeah. very nice mm. indeed. So the car's been restored to um, uh, as close as possible to the original uh, specification when it was new. Um, so uh, uh, the restoration, you know, is covered. Um, it's a nut and bolt job, so everything has been taken off the car and rebuilt and replaced with uh, original equipment. So the colour scheme and so on is exactly as it was made. Um, as you see, it's a very, 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 very simple design. There's no, even no door handles on it. Um, so um, it was built for um, a rich person's plaything in California. Basically, that was the market for it in the in the mid 1950s. Um, so. Um, there you go. And it was made um, particularly famous by um, a film uh, called God Created Woman with Bridget Bardot. Okay. And it featured in, uh, it featured in that film. This particular car? N not this particular car, but, but an Aurelia Spider, right. the model. Right. Uh, and it was the start of the sort of the Dolce Vita period in, uh, you know, in history. So, you know, the sort of the good life. So it's uh, iconic of, of that, really. Do you get to use it much? Uh, since it's been back on the road, yes, I mean, you can't keep me out of it, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's the way yeah. it should be. You've got such mm. a wonderful car, um, you should use it. We've got here a two, two and a half litre V6 engine. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the first production V6 engine. Uh, single Weber carburettor. Um, so very, very uh, sophisticated design for, uh, for the year. Uh, car is, um, you know, a uh, uh, very modern feeling car to drive. Um, it's quite, you know, quite brisk and quick. Um, you know, keeps up with the traffic. Um, do you look after it yourself, servicing-wise, or do you take it somewhere special? Um, I look after it as much as I can myself, but you know, I use specialist people for, uh, you know, the more advanced jobs. Mm. Is it expensive to keep? Not really. No. I mean, actually, most of the bits for this car, the restoration of this car, oh, from really? all over the world. Oh, okay. Um, so it's uh, the bodywork was expensive to restore because sure. I had to use professionals for that. But yeah. uh, actually, the rest of it was, you know, surprisingly inexpensive. Yeah. Okay. But if you take it into a garage with an open checkbook, then you know you're going to get a huge bill. So. Yeah. Um, but most of the work was done at my home. Brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Okay. Thank you.